Hi. Hello. Uh, I want to explain something about intention. I'm going to use a visual aid in the process. But before I do that, I want to show you something which is kind of funny. This is my microphone. But you may say, but that's a sock. In fact, it's two socks. <laughs> but I have a, a microphone underneath it. I've been using the, the socks to mute some of the twanginess from my guitar when I've been recording. I've just kind of left them on there for about a week. Kind of gross because they're used socks. I think I wore them and then threw them on the ground, and then I picked them up off the ground and put them on the microphone. And now you know. Um, I'm going to calibrate this so you can see the board, and I want to get a look at the board and get a recording of the board before I erase it so I remember what was on it. Focus that. Give me an autofocus. Give me a. Dude, this camera. Okay, you can see that plainly. Come on now. Do you hear the frustration in my voice? Do you hear the children laughing? This is the net, which you may have been familiar with. Um, from a previous video I did of the net of human experience, consciousness, the sixth sense, when I visualize the that netting. It's, this is, this is a, a vertical representation of a, what I visualized horizontally when I was looking out over it. It's kind of like we look over it and our essence is, is in it and moves around through it. And anyway, I explained it in another video, so I'm not going to get into it. But I will get into something. Photons are the clay of our universe, by the way. At least the clay of my perceived universe. I think quanta is uh, like what you would use to make clay. And, or make the photons, and then the photons are what we work with as clay, as light and sound and feeling, etc. Okay, all right, clean enough. You know what always bothered me when I was in school is when the teacher would erase the board, but not erase all of it, and leave like a piece of something on the board, and I would think it's so annoying when that would happen uh, because, dude, I dropped, I dropped a, uh, a fortune that I had posted up on the board. Here it is. This fortune reads, you find beauty in ordinary things. Do not lose this ability. Or the fortune itself. Now, intention, I believe we have an intention. And as if we're using words, we'll say our words are, I can use specific words or variables to explain, so I'll use variables for now. So this is a sentence. There's, We'll say there's five words in the sentence. Ah, da, 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 da. But a lot of times, this is what we intend to say. Now, a lot of times, what we intend to say doesn't come out properly. I, I, I look forward to, to the laptop, which is right here. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Just to make sure that... Ooh, this. Uh, just to make sure that you can see what I'm writing. Uh, a lot of times when we're, when we're talking... We don't say our intention. We hold back. Or we say something else. So, now let's say the sentence is, I want to go out. But instead, we say, Oh 
on the spot right now. I... So, okay, 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 okay. Let's say the sentence, not I want to go out. I know what you mean, so I'll actually write it. I know what you mean. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Okay, so this is my intention. When someone says something to me, I intend to respond, I know what you mean. But instead, because I'm afraid to say this, to someone with uh, someone with perceived stature, I say, I get what you're. I get what you mean. I get what you're saying. I, I say I get instead of I know. Now, when I'm talking, if I say I get what you mean, and it's not my intention. It's less effective than if my intention is, I know what you mean. So I figured out a way to counteract this, to save ourselves when we fuck up the intention, when we say something other than what we intend. If you were to say, I get... It sounds kind of weird to do it, but it works. This is how I work it. I would say, I get what you're saying. And then I would say, I know. I get. So it would actually read, I get what you I get what you mean. I know. I get. And creating, saying get twice allows for a sort of a sort of pinnacle to the point of intention. Get being the low point and no being what was intended at the top. But so you're here speaking and then you hit this word that wasn't meant to be said. So you can you can re-say it. But if, then if I were to say, I know, I get what you're saying. I, I, I know. People will be like, It'll, it'll be dissolved. It'll be too confusing. If I say, I get what you're saying, I know. People will be like, I, that, that isn't a powerful statement. Um, but if you say, I know, I get, if you repeat the word get, the, the low word, if you repeat it, it gives something to go back down to. It gives people in their minds uh, a denouement, a slow ending. So you're able to hit your intention and use the words, you don't, because you don't have to be like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. That's what I was doing, and it's not effective. People don't want to hear that. So you move on. I get what you mean. I know what you mean. I get what you mean. The only way to reinduce intention is to accept your flaw. Acknowledge your flaw. But not by saying, I made a flaw, only by acknowledging it. It's very convoluted. It's convoluted to me right now because I had this thought. Last night while I was laying on my couch. I think, oh, last night or the night before, I think last night, and when I had the thought, I was really in it. And I knew exactly what I was talking about. And I thought I could record it, but my laptop was in my car, which I record on now, because my base computer has a, a virus. It's so junked, i got to get another copy of Windows XP before I reuse that thing. So I didn't have the equipment, and I thought, I'll just, re I, I, maybe it's not that important. I won't, I won't, I'm not that big of a deal. And then I realized, like, five minutes, ten minutes ago or something, um, that it is important, because it's the way we can learn. 
the way we can learn to relearn, the way we can relearn how we speak, because we're not perfect, and we don't always say what we intend to say. This is not, this is a terrible sentence, man. This is not, this is not right. I'm going to, I'm going to stop recording and, um, figure it out.